What's going on everybody? So today what we are going to be doing is something a little bit more educational than it really gaming itself because we are going to be talking about how procedural generation works, but there's many videos out there about it right now, but I really haven't found something simple and it actually is a little bit more simple than some of these people that are making videos on this are really putting out. Sorry if this video goes up a little bit late today, guys. I'm actually gonna really try to edit this so I can really give the best quality that I can for this topic. So if you're interested in No Man's Sky, if you're interested in how it works, stick around for this video. It is going to simplify it a little bit more than everybody else is on this website. So let's get right into it, guys. Now, procedural generation, it's a lot of people are thinking that it's a new fad that's coming out. And since Sean Murray and Hello Games are making No Man's Sky running it procedurally generated, it makes a lot of people think that it is new. It's really not. Uh, Minecraft is procedurally generated. Diablo 3 keeps everything really bright and alive with procedural generation. It's not that new, but No Man's Sky is doing something a lot different than everybody else is doing with it. When a lot of people out there think procedural generation, they think that a computer is making land as people discover it, which is kind of true, but kind of not. It's not random. It's not like you fly to this area and this area says that it wants 16 trees and four rocks on green grass. Those 16 trees, four rocks on green grass, are might they might be there, but it's not there randomly, it's there procedurally, which means that if you leave that area and come back, it's exactly the same. It's not changed, everything is the same, okay? It is algorithmic, and what I mean by that is, say this tree over here is on this planet, and it's there through this formula, 3 plus 3 equals 6. And so when you aren't there, that 3 plus 3 is there, but that six isn't there, so that tree actually isn't there. But as soon as a person comes into play and they see that tree, that tree is three plus three equals six. So that tree is there now, okay? It's there, it equals six, but it's a lot more than that. I mean, it's the math problems are crazy long to actually generate this type of tree, but anyways. So I actually made this drawing to show you guys what I really mean about this because it's a lot easier drawn than I think anything else, like a picture. So imagine that this world is No Man's Sky, okay, this whole circle. All of these circles within No Man's Sky are players playing the game, okay? Now, where these players are, this area around them is actually generated to actually make land, trees, rocks, everything. So these are all filled in, these areas are loaded, so to say. But all of this other area around you isn't. It's still there, everything is still there, but it's not loaded in. It needs to be procedurally generated still by another player. Say that there's a little flower on the top here. This little flower, all by itself, right now, nobody's by it, so it is 4 plus 4. Okay, now this equals 8, but nobody is there right now, so nothing can happen for that flower. But as soon as a player actually reaches this flower, it equals 8. The flower is there. But as soon as this player leaves, it goes back to 4 plus 4. That's the best way that I can really describe what procedural generation is, okay? There's not much more that you can say about it because people like to make it seem that it's this mind-boggling, crazy contraption that only super math scientists are able to break and to figure out. Well, to make it, it might be that way, but to understand it, it really isn't that tough. Sean Murray and Hello Games are making a game, No Man's Sky, that is just blowing Diablo and blowing Minecraft out of the water though because it's procedurally generating an entire galaxy, universe, whatever you want to call it. It's procedurally generating the entire thing. So, my boss decides to call me right in the middle of this video. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, procedural generation, it's not as complicated as people say it is. So I hope that this short little video helped you out with what procedural generation is. I hope you're all as psyched as I am about No Man's Sky coming out later this year. And it's just, I'm really excited about it. Leave a like on this video guys, leave a subscription. It really does help me out. I will see all of you later.